Hi, my name is Kaylee and I love playing soccer. We were in a tournament in Davis and I got the ball on the sideline and I played it to the middle and my left foot was still planted. So I turned and the girl ran through the back of my leg and I heard a pop and I was on the ground and I couldn't straighten it. You know, I've seen her get hit a hundred times and bounce right back up. This time was, we knew, wow, something's different. So we went to the hospital and they said it was dislocation and there was um, a piece of cartilage from underneath my patella that was just in my knee that they needed to take out. You know, the surgery went off without a hitch. She was immobilized for six weeks, which was terrible for her. Even though she was technically cleared to play again, physically her body was not ready for it. She was setting herself up for the same exact injury, if not a more catastrophic injury. And as parents, we had no idea. So when Kaylee came in to the Motion and Sports Performance Laboratory, one of the things we noticed is that when she made a single limb hop and tried to land in control, she was a little bit wobbly. So that was the cue to us that we needed to look closely at how she was stabilizing her limb and work at that to try and improve her stabilization so she wouldn't put her knee at risk again. The way the system works is that the cameras are set up to track the motions of the body. And then in the floor we have force platforms that record the forces that you place on the floor while you do the athletic maneuver. And the computer takes those things and combines them together. So it shows us how much force is at the ankle, at the knee, and at the hip. Based on her data that we got from the motion capture system, we prescribed a very specific program of strength training and neuromuscular training to try and improve her control of her limb. They would let her perform at a high level, but wouldn't put her at risk for injuring her limb again. I documented everything, every session that she took, and about every two weeks I would email to the lab, and the lab would modify everything as necessary and then send their recommendations back, which were immediately implemented. It was a very collaborative effort between the whole team that was uh, taking care of my daughter. I, I truly, at every point, felt like we were in the best hands we could possibly be. When Kaylee came back again, we saw a much more consistent movement pattern in everything that she did. It wasn't just that she could accomplish each task, it's that she, she demonstrated a lot of skill in each one of those areas. And we knew she was really well stabilized, she was really in control. All of those motor patterns had sort of settled down into a habitual pattern for her, and she was strong enough to execute each one of those movements. So those are the things that the laboratory let us see and decide that she was ready to return to sport. Once I started to come here and I was doing my strength training, I felt like I was I knew I was going to be able to go back and be stronger than I was. So it just makes me feel a lot better that I have trainers and I have a whole group here that's trying, that's helping me getting better. It developed into a lifelong training lesson for her. It, it the, the the untold benefits, the the weight training, how it's going to keep her successful in whatever she wants to do, um, how she can now get back to the sport that she truly loves. You know, as a parent. <coughs> Obviously, I was very emotional. It was, uh, it was an awesome thing to see, truly.